Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and with me on Radio Today, Naked Departure Radio, is Patricia Benedict. And I want to welcome her to my show because I've been meaning to speak to her for many, many moons now. So, Patricia, let me first ask you, is it okay to have you on audio tape? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you, thank you. So we can continue, Patricia. You mentioned yes, you mentioned to me that PC seventeen sixty eight Jason Leacock of the whole mm -hmm. town stationed there in um, St James said to you the last time that he put his hand on you that you are not going to leave Dodds alive. Where do you think yeah. he had that up? That authority, where do you think he got that authority that his chest could have been so high in the air that mm -hmm. he could have uttered those words to you? Can I tell you what, what prompted him to say so? Yes, please. When he when I came back into this, this, the, the station from the magistrate's court, I said to him, um, Jason, Jason, see you in court on the seventh of September because I'm going to be going to trial. Um, he assaulted me, so this is a trial case. I um, I got a guy got order from not to talk about it, but this is a trial case. Um, so I said, see you on the seventh of September, and I said to him, um, um, I will still come out, meaning dogs. I will still come out. And that's hence the reason why he said to me, you're not coming out alive. Mm -hmm. So did he say yes. those words to you in front of other people, in front of other cops? He said, I think there was someone standing right next to him. I don't know if it was Sergeant Allen. I could not remember. Mm -hmm. I couldn't recall okay. who it was. Yes. Okay. So how did that make you feel? Did you feel as though your life was threatened? Yes, when it comes to Jason Leacock, yes, very much so, because in the past, um, they actually had my phone, um, what do you call it, they knew my every movement, bug or whatever you want to call it, um, mm -hmm. so they knew my every movement, so yes, I was a bit fearful my life wow but you didn't make it out you you have made it out how do you feel now that you are out again again i i don't know i have to take my hat off to you because i, I i'm a coward <laughs> anyone i could not i could not do it i could not do it i would i would have ran from barbados you know what <laughs> what you know what kept me strong because mm. god i will always favor me okay God will always favor me. And there is a, a quote I have been sharing with people from J. Michael Holler. He was a defense attorney from 1962. There's no client scary as an innocent man. Mm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So, okay, yes. let's move on now because we covered that. And I want to talk to you about what you perceive as not an arrest, but an abduction. Talk to us about yes. that. Yes. Because I have already did a statement on that particular matter that happened on the 20th of November 2022, pertaining to Tina, Canadian citizens, Tina Lambro Pavasino. And her daughter, Kaijo Lambro. Let me ask you a question before we go on. Yeah. Have they ever been arrested? No. Um, Kaijo has, um, uh, I think, allegedly she assaulted or, or threatened a, a gentleman called Bert. I think it's still in the magistrate's court. I, I didn't get the name of the one who has been arrested. Who is that? Kaijo, K-E-I-T-R-A. Lombro, L O N B R O. She so she's Tina's daughter. That's, con that's Tina's daughter. Yes. Okay. And her bail conditions were she weren't allowed to come in Flamboyant Avenue. Mm -hmm. So when they assaulted me, I don't know if you have seen the pictures before um, a while back. They had body slamming right in front yes. of me in my condo in them. Um, yes. Yes. 
that's from the same incident. So was she arrested? So no one was arrested for body slamming you? No one. And I'm I'm in still in an I'm I'm actually gonna have to get physiotherapy. I um I have medication. Um I have sciatica problems, sciatica nails it takes wow. me hours to get up. So Jason I, So Jason Leacott then I'm just like trying to read this whole situation jason leacock mm -hmm. if you're saying that um these people have not really been arrested because they're actually putting you behind bars and they, and that hasn't happened mm -hmm. to them so he's is he working mm -hmm. is he taking money from them is he working for them? well he, you wouldn't know that because he, he worked for them what he, you he work for them the mm -hmm. whole town police and um jason leacock and even some at headquarters still work they work? Okay, for, promise, you know. They do? So they get paid by yes. that? The, the they would get they, they do they, I think get paid. Um because um I, I and this is very important. Um one of my and I have it in my email one of the emails I have there, my neighbor said allegedly uh, not allegedly, my neighbor said that one time Jason Lecock and Tina had it out there. Um, because she, he was getting fed up of her. And she told him, you could have a good day or you could have a bad day. And he said, what do you mean by that? So in my email to the commissioner, I said, it means she knows who to complain to, to right. put him in, in check. Wow. And the woman face minister, Wilfred Abraham, Owen Boyce, who's deputy, uh, the two deputy um, commissioners of police, Ian Branch or Owen Boyce, and our, our inspector, perhaps. I, I think I think Abrams is uh, incompetent, but we're not going to talk about him right now. Yes. Let's get mm -hmm. let's let's get back to the abduction, and then we we're going to close out on this particular um, segment, and we're going to we're going to talk every week or whatever, whenever you want to talk. Yes. But let's. I don't like yes. to go on for too long, so let's talk about your perceived abduction because you are saying that you should not have been arrested the last yes. time you were arrested or all yes, so only the yes, last time or i had already wrote, written the email and mm -hmm. i already had told in the email the, the ag and the commissioner and prime minister and them that he was going to do it and i told him that i already had a statement and a medical report on it and retired that coming to our williams told me do not approach him go to to who to go to even the senior superintendents miss sonia boys works um, with the commissioner had told me who to go to so when i went to i went only went to sign in and he had telling that they they removed the book from the counter and had me really nervous when they removed the book when i asked for the book they didn't want to cheat i mean wait and then she cornered me they cornered the third time they did that to me and i'm very traumatized i don't want to go to the police station you know they cornered me and they said they arrested me mm. And told me um, I'm charged for um, assaulting Kydra, but I, I want to go forward. Go forward when I went to the court. Okay. Act, when before that, I asked for a phone call to have a mistake. I smell. I asked for a phone call to have a shower. They never gave me one. They only gave me one for the um to call somebody, and they never gave me one. I went to the court, and Missy Magistrate went Clark. He has to go. Because there's no way anybody should have been allowed to go with a short pants and a sleeveless top on my bra, my breast out showing, well, printed out and stuff in, in, in wow. the outfit. Wow. So but, they, they, but, humil they humiliated yeah. you. They humiliated you. Yes. Yes. And I, the one thing else I want, I, because it's that, that section, because I'm, I want to go to the court on Thursday, mm -hmm. because he continues to give me a... a, a, a um, what do you call it? Uh, I have to stay home all the time. A curfew, a curfew. Uh, a curfew. From since five months ago, either I'm in prison uh, or I'm in curfew. But m my being in prison, right? Anyway, when I, when I told me I had to commission R. Williams. I, I was um, through somebody that I was um, arrested. They sent people down there. When I went into that court, ma'am, there was no prosecutors there. They, they ran off. The only person officer that was there is Miss Christine, an ordinary police officer. 
but I was under duress. And she objected to my bail. And they sent me 28 days in prison. So with your sciatic problems and everything else that you say you have, were you provided like special bedding, like extra pillow? Were you provided like... No, no, I am... No, I did get uh, medication from the the prisons. They gave me medication too from the prisons, and I had mine here. Okay. Okay. But um. So okay, let's get back. Let's get back to the abduction. So because it needs to be clear, you feel that wait, you feel that you were abducted, which is something that is illegal because 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 your arrest was an illegal arrest. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. On many grounds. Okay. On many grounds. I already have a statement and a medical report I had given to the, even the police wrote the statement for me. I provided a medical report for them. Right. So, so live, live, living, living in Barbados could be a traumatic experience for, especially if you are kind of a person who can see and understand the situation you're in so you being yes, on naked yes. departure radio they're gonna hear this because they watch my channel how are you yes. gonna how are you gonna feel when this gets out there are you gonna feel more threatened are you gonna feel relieved because i can't do jail no, no, I, more I relieved more relieved uh, because okay. i've also um have contacted today some inter some international press too because the more people the more media coverage barbados gets because they portray barbados as this two goody shoes oh, wait, people, it's not, oh, no 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 no, no. It's not. people 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 who've been there we, we know different we know different we know different you know, yeah, it's you an know, experience. Being in Barbados, Barbados, being in Barbados is an experience. There's a cloud over Barbados. That if you overstay your welcome, you will be affected. Mm -hmm. You are going to be affected by that cloud that's there. You but, cannot escape it. I, I, yeah, I want to do a part two tomorrow. Okay. On what we mistricks the, the you know the mistricks the head told me when I told her about what Jason Nicox said. Okay. Because this needs to be get out. Okay. Okay, so Jason yes. Leacock, is he a, a sergeant or, or is he, what, what is his, what's his, is he like? Well, he's ranked, actually, he said that he's supervisor. I don't know if the commission know. Oh, you just sent me some photos. Okay. I don't know the commission. He, Wait, so you, he you mean he's just a regular right strike? He's a right strike. He's just a regular officer. But, but, and who do they have to investigate? And I meant to say that, I proceed on your air. Mm -hmm. You have to investigate who is promoting those people and who is transferring those people so but he's a regular race because right them, so where does he get the power hmm? from where does he get the power from to speak to you the way he spoke to you where is the because he's because um from owen boys his brother john boys ian branch because john boys and mr ian branch were head of the northern division um whole town and, and spice town you know respectively oh i see i see and they were promoted. They went to headquarters in 2020 and 2021. Okay, so, they were promoted. So he's not he's, as commissioner. Okay, so this Jason Leacock is not high in rank, but he is he is no. related. But he's related to people who are high in rank. But allegedly, too, I heard his father's dad is a commissioner. Oh, I don't I know see. how true it is. I see. Because I was in a courtroom, and and, and one of the guys, who, a guy who knows him, said, "Oh, his dad is a commissioner." So I would say allegedly because I'm not too sure okay. about that. Okay. Okay. All right. So we we are going to leave it here. What we discussed today okay. was your the threat that you got from Jason Leacock telling you that you yes. weren't going to leave Dodds alive. You have left Dodds alive. Unless it means for, I mean, unless yes. it means for a, 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 a next, whatever trip you're, there. I will not want no, to be there's there. There's more to it. There's more to it because the guards are, some of the guards are involved. There's okay. more to it. I would tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, so we talked about him make, making that threat to you, and we also talked yes, about please. the fact that you feel as though your arrest was illegal, so it was an abduction. Yes. It was an abduction. And 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 yes, okay. and going to the court, going to the um, police station and signing. Has me it's so trauma. It's trauma. Yeah, yeah. Nerve -wracking. It's what they do to women in Barbados. They, they like. And then I have to go with someone to yeah. make sure they see me sign in. Or right. I call. I WhatsApp it. The commission said I'm going in and signing. 
that's how that has happened. Right. Yeah. It's very, it's very traumatic living there. I know that for a fact. I know that. Yes. So um, I want to yes. wish you luck. I look forward to speaking to you tomorrow, or if you're not, if you're busy tomorrow, yes, whatever, Chris. whenever. I, I'll I, I will do part two. I'll do part two of that. <laughs> I'm sure there should be part one hundred. The, 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 the whole yes. thing about the prisons. Yes. Yeah. So we we're gonna do like okay. ten to fifteen minute slot so that we don't overwhelm the, the overwhelm the yes. listener, and we will do it until you are through with me yes please yes please <laughs> okay yes. thank you thank you so much thank, thank you very much for having you me you are welcome this is sherry veronica thank you very much. naked departure radio